Hi, I'm Michael Kwan from Mega Tech News, and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new Steel Series Stratus. One of the new features that you might have noticed in iOS 7 is better support for Bluetooth controllers, allowing developers to code natively. And uh, one of the controllers that takes advantage of this new standard is the SteelSeries Stratus. And it's a very small controller that kind of gives you that console feel when you're using a tablet or a, a smartphone like the iPad or the iPhone. So the, uh, the box itself is pretty much what you expect from SteelSeries. It's the black and orange, so let's just open it up. The first thing that you see is obviously the controller itself. You get the main instruction manual, the micro USB charging cable, and you can see the micro USB charging port on the bottom of the controller there. And there's also the carrying pouch. The little carrying pouch has a nice little mesh inside and you can toss the controller with the cover on there and there's still enough room for you to put your micro USB cable as well. So that's a great way to take your controller with you on the go. The controller itself is shaped like the Xbox 360 controller, but it has the dual thumbstick layout of what you find with the DualShock system from Sony's PlayStation. Uh, it has the four key uh, face buttons, which is probably what you normally expect from the, uh, the Xbox or the PlayStation, as well as two sets of shoulder buttons on the top, uh, L1, L2, R1, and R2. And on the back, you'll find the dedicated pairing button and on the right side is the power switch. Uh, when you first turn it on, it automatically goes into pairing mode, so it's really easy to get it connected via Bluetooth to your iPad or your iPhone. And the other main feature is that it comes with this little plastic cover, and it serves two purposes. The first purpose is you can put it on top, and it protects the thumbsticks and the buttons and stuff when you want to toss it in your bag on, on the go, and that's the idea because it's such a small controller that they want you to bring it with you. When you're actually playing though, you can flip it around to the back and it snaps on in the same way on the back to give you a little bit extra thickness on the sides so you have somewhere to rest your fingers naturally there uh, while you're playing your games, like so. But I'm already noticing that it doesn't quite fit perfectly all the time and it, the cover can start to slide and notch uh, different ways even when, you're out, even when you put it on the front as a protective cover. So they might have to work a little bit on the fit and finish there to make sure that it fits properly, but like I like the idea of having the cover serve dual purposes. Pairing was really easy with the Steel Search Stratus, and you can probably thank iOS 7 for this too. So all you do is you just turn on the Bluetooth on your iPad or your iPhone, bearing in mind that it does need iOS 7 for this to work. It, and after you turn on your controller, it'll pop up under the list of devices, you tap on it to connect, and you're up and running. And so what I found was fantastic is even when I went into a game, uh, for example, I was playing Angry Birds Go, I didn't even need to tell the game that I had a controller. It automatically detected that I, I had a controller and the controls mapped automatically. Uh, so with the, in the case of Angry Birds Go, there's not very much in terms of buttons that you need. There is just like the one boost button, uh, but you, you can use the left thumbstick. So it's a little bit more uh, natural for people that are coming from Mario Kart or something like that. Because the buttons aren't necessarily in the settings menu, it does take a little bit of trial and error to figure out what button does what. Uh, but that's more the fault of the developers taking advantage of these new standards that App Apple has lined up with iOS 7. If you're coming from any kind of first person shooter on a console, most of the button mapping was already really intuitive, right? The left thumbstick lets you move around, uh, the right thumbstick is to look around, and then uh, in this case it has auto fire, but I imagine in some other first person shooters and similar kind of games on iOS that you could use the right uh, trigger buttons to fire and then the face buttons for changing weapons and reloading and, and that, that sort of thing. So uh, playing through is actually, it's remarkably comfortable for a controller that's this small. And the left and right thumbsticks feel great. The face buttons feel great. I did find that the shoulder buttons can feel a little bit awkward, especially uh, L2 and R2 because they're kind of, they're right in the middle of the uh, controller, which I guess makes sense because it is smaller, but I did find myself like reaching a little bit to be able to get to it. That depends on your, your hand size, but all in all, like it's, it's a very great feeling controller that gives you that console kind of feel as, uh, when you're playing on your iPhone or iPad. And based on developers moving forward, uh, because the controller standard does support multiple pairing via Bluetooth 2.1, 
there are the LED lights on the front there that show you whether you're player one, player two, player three, or player four. So when there are games that support that, you can use that. And with Bluetooth 2.1 and the rechargeable battery, you get uh, more than 10 hours of battery life. And uh, that should be great for you to last the day full of gaming. So that's our look at the Steel Series Stratus. It's a great little controller to accompany your iPad, your iPhone, to get that console kind of experience on your tablet and smartphone. It is a little bit on the pricey side at $79.99, and I hope that uh, moving forward, there are gonna be more affordable options. But you do get to choose between black and white, and it has a pretty good fit and finish in terms of how the thumbsticks feel and the buttons feel. It does really feel uh, like a, the kind of controller that you would expect on an Xbox or a PlayStation. Uh, so that's the Steel Series Stratus. I am Michael Kwan from Mega Tech News. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in our next video.